Hello all, welcome to the SolidWorks tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to draw the drill table. So the drawing uh, dimensions are given. The dimensions are uh, included in the description. You can uh, download the PDF file. Open SolidWorks. Create a new part. Select the top plane. So I'm going to start with the circular section. So draw a circle, the diameter of 112 mm. Next I am going to extrude this to a height of 112 mm. Next select this uh, surface, click sketch and I am selecting a corner rectangle and draw a rectangle, go to smart dimensions, the height of the rectangle is 338, so you can add uh, the small dimensions, then the width is 278, Then this is at a high distance of 100 mm from the center. Then click control, select the origin and select the center point of the circle, I mean rectangle and make it as horizontal. Now go to features, click extrude boss and extrude this to a height of 50 mm in the opposite direction. Next I am going to create uh, the fillet, the fillet radius is given as 12 mm, so select the fillet and change the radius to 12 mm, okay. click OK. Next the fillet at this edge is given as 24, so go to fillet and choose this edge and fillet radius is 24. Similarly, choose all the four edges and fillet it. Okay, next I am going to draw the T slot. So select this sketch and Click Ctrl 8 to view it in the normal direction. Now select a rectangle and draw a rectangle here. And the rectangle is at a distance of 19 mm in each side. Now to fillet the edges, you can go to fillet, the fillet radius is given as 12, so choose the points and create the fillet. Next again go to rectangle and select a rectangle and the gap is given as 25 mm in each direction. So you can mark at least two sides. Now the drawing is fully constrained. Go to features, click extruded cut and extrude this to a height of 38 mm. Okay. Now go to fillet and select the fillet radius as 12.5 because the width is 25 mm and we have to create a semicircle at the bottom. So I am choosing 12.5 and then click OK. 
Vishnu, we have created uh, the curve. Next, to draw the T slot, select this sketch, click Control 8 and go to Line Tool and uh, draw the profile of the T slot. Go to smart dimensions and mark the dimensions. So this is 12 mm and uh, click control and choose all the edges that has uh, similar heights. and make it as equal. Then draw a center line starting from uh, the center point of the top line and center point of the bottom line. Now select this line and make it as vertical. Then go to smart dimensions and to mark the length of this line as 25 mm. Now the distance between this line and the origin is given as 75. Now to mirror the entities, I am generating a center line. Now go to mirror entities, entities to mirror, you can select the lines and mirror about the center line. Ok, now go to features, select extrude cut and choose up to surface and select this surface, then click ok. okay. Fine, next select uh, the front plane, click sketch. Now we are going to connect these two, so select the line tool and uh, draw a line from the center then up to this coincidence point and complete the sketch. Now go to smart dimensions and mark all the dimensions. So the height is 50 plus 38. The dimensions are actually given in the left side. And this is at a distance of 12 mm from the top surface. Go to smart dimensions and uh, the distance between these two points are given as 145 mm. Then this height is given as 50 mm. Okay. Now uh, go to fillet, choose this edge and select a fillet for 12 mm. Now click control, select one point of the line and select the vertex and make it as vertical. Now go to features, click extruded bars and choose mid plane and uh, the extrude distance is given as 50 plus 38. So actually it is given here, so it is 50 plus 19 plus 19. Now click OK. Similarly select the front plane, click sketch. Now we will draw the left side uh, projection. Select the line tool and uh, draw a line from the center. Go to smart dimensions and mark all the dimensions. So the height is 50 plus 38. 
and the distance is 12 mm. Now click control, select these two points and make it as vertical. And uh, this distance is given as 88 mm. Okay. So before re extruding this, we can create uh, two holes on that. So draw two circular holes. So the hole diameter is given as 11 mm. And the holes are at a distance of 68 mm from the center. And the distance between these two holes are 50 mm. You select control, select these two centers and make it as vertical. Now you can mark the vertical height, it is 19 mm. Now go to features, click extruded bars, select mid plane and extrude this to a distance of 76 mm. Now we are going to cut the sections. For that, I am going to create a reference plane. Go to reference geometry, create plane, and choose the right plane as the first reference, and create a reference plane at a distance of 82 mm. Because you can see that we are going to create the cut at a distance of 82 mm. So I am creating a reference plane, and select the reference plane. Click sketch. and choose a corner rectangle and draw a rectangle here and mark the dimensions the width of the rectangle is 50 mm and you can mark the dimension from any one side it is 19 mm now go to features click extruded cut and select through all so change the direction Click OK. And now I am going to fillet this. Go to fillet and create a fillet for 12 mm. Similarly, here also you can create the fillets. Again select fillet and fillet the remaining edges. Now click OK. Now if you want you can uh, hide this plane, next I am going to create uh, the hole here, so click sketch and draw a circle to create the hole and uh, the circle diameter is given as 75 mm. Then draw a corner rectangle and uh, the width is 3 mm and the distance from the center is 1.5 mm. Okay. Go to trim entities and trim the unwanted regions. Now go to features, click extruded cut and select through all. So now we have almost completed the drawing. Next I am going to extrude a 3 mm. So for that I am selecting this surface, click sketch and uh, go to convert entities and choose these three rectangles and click OK. Now I have created uh, the lines, 
go to features click extruded boss and extrude this to a height of 3 mm okay so now you can see that we have extruded for a height of 3 mm now we can apply the material so i am going to apply a material of uh, gray cast iron so it's not here so i can go to edit material and i can choose iron and gray cast iron click apply and close so now we have completed uh, the part modeling if you want to verify your uh, model go to evaluate choose mass properties and you can evaluate the mass value okay so one percentage of uh, deviation is uh, generally permitted if your uh, model comes within one percentage then uh, your model is perfectly right thank you